Hi everybody! This is my first YouTube video. I'm going to be doing a video on Ubuntu Windows 7 Dual Boot Install. It's really, really easy to do. If you have a computer at home like I do, I have my old netbook. I had it for about three years now. I still really like how portable it is. So I really want to get some more life out of it. Windows 7 is just really too slow on it to make it um, effective. So I'm looking forward to putting Ubuntu on here, which will really, really will improve the boot time. It's um, a 10.1 inch. Here is my cute little netbook. Be sure to plug in that network cable to get all the latest software updates. Today's install will be done off a USB drive. This drive was especially created for this Ubuntu install. There will be a link up below explaining how to create this USB bootable drive to do the Ubuntu install. Now I'm ready to boot up my netbook. I'm going to select the function key I need to, to get my boot options. Once I get my boot option, I'm going to select the USB drive that I have set up the Ubuntu installer on to boot off of. The next window I'll see is the Ubuntu Installer Boot menu. The option I'm going to select is Install Ubuntu on a hard disk. This will get it to be installed on my laptop's hard drive. Now the Ubuntu installation kernel will begin to load. You will see it scan through a bunch of hardware and eventually it will come up to the Ubuntu welcome screen. Here we're going to select the language of the region you're in. If you scroll up and down, you'll notice Ubuntu offers many, many different languages. So anywhere in the world you're at, you can install Ubuntu. Now Ubuntu is checking to see if your computer meets the minimum hardware requirements. And I'll go ahead and check download updates while installing to get the latest and greatest software. Now this window will allocate the amount of disk space available. So the first option I have is install Ubuntu alongside Windows 7. This is the option I want because I want that dual boot option. I want the option when the machine first turns on to either select Windows 7 or Ubuntu. So depending on how I feel that day or what I need to do, I could select which OS. Now the next thing after that, it's going to ask if you want to erase everything, including your Windows 7 install. You do not want to do that please don't check that box. And the last one is something else. And if you're new to this, just leave that alone and go ahead and click forward. Now that we selected to install Ubuntu alongside Windows 7, Ubuntu is giving us this cute little option in here. We could use that center bar to push it side to side and then you could see how it's going to change the disk space. For this install, I kind of want to use roughly 20 gigs for my Ubuntu install and the rest of the hard drive for the Windows 7 install. Before any changes are made to your disk, you will actually have to confirm this window. So if you are okay with the disk size you still selected, go ahead and continue on. Now Ubuntu is going to ask, where are you? This is to figure out what time of day it is. So go ahead and select wherever in the world you're located so it sets the correct time. Now it's asking for your keyboard layout. Go ahead and select your keyboard layout. And if you scroll through there, there are many, many options. Then whenever you're ready, go ahead and make sure the ones you selected are highlighted and click continue. Now the wizard's going to ask you, who are you? So go ahead and type in your name. It's going to try to use part of your name for your computer name. And go ahead and enter in a username. I'll select data. Now go ahead and type in a password. As you're typing in your password, Ubuntu is going to assess how good of a password you're typing in. It could be either ranked as good, weak, or strong. Now to create a strong password, you should have up and uppercase and lowercase characters, maybe a special character like an exclamation, and a couple of numbers. A good password is always good to have. Don't forget to get a pen and paper and write down that password. Now you get some additional options. Log in automatically. If you're the only user of this laptop, you can go ahead and select this. But for security's sake, I would always recommend require my password to log in, which is already set as the default option to be selected. You also get to encrypt my home directory. If you're worried about your laptop getting stolen, you can go ahead and check this. Now select a picture for your login screen. Now Ubuntu's go ahead and complete the install. You can notice a progress bar at the bottom. 
But while you're watching this, you can also go through and click on the arrows on the right and left side of the screen, and it will provide you some useful information about Ubuntu. So you can learn a little bit about the product before it's done installing. Now your computer is done. Go ahead and restart that computer and you're going to notice the first thing you see is the Grub Bootloader. It's going to be a text-based menu option. So go ahead and select Ubuntu on the very top. This is your default boot option. To so go ahead and boot into Windows, when this menu appears, hit the arrow downward and once it's on top of Windows 7, go ahead and click Enter and Windows 7 will be booted into normally. Welcome to your Ubuntu login screen. Go ahead and log in and let's get started. Here's your Ubuntu desktop known as Unity. Unity provides some nice shortcuts on the left hand side for you there. If you hold your mouse downward on the bar it will start scrolling down and show you the rest of your shortcuts. Now on the top right you're going to have your power options to shut down and log off. Now I want to open up my browser, so I'm going to go ahead and click on that Firefox shortcut on the Unity bar. Now it's time to go ahead and explore your Ubuntu install. Enjoy yourself, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Also, if you have any requests for any other type of tutorials, go ahead and leave that in the comments. And I'll see you next time.